家好，我是没梗又不好笑的古宫小姐。不过开场还是跟大家说个笑话，好忍。妈妈，小明，你几斤那么大了，还要妈妈抱？羞羞脸哦，小明，隔壁的张阿姨比我更大，还不是给爸爸抱。哈哈哈哈！好的，不好笑，我知道。因为这次实验内容比较多，所以让我们把速度加快一点，好吗 ？Ready, y e a y e a y e a go. 中医系统晶片设计导论，授课教师黄胜杰教授，学生林博安。脸部把脉的原理有两种，我们先介绍第一种。原理一：利用血液流经脸部时，使我们的脸部变红，进而产生的色差，测量我们的脉搏。实验步骤：在 Google 普来搜寻 MCTU， 然后下载脸部影像血压计，接着安装程式，然后执行程式。这边我们要输入身高、体重，还有选择前后镜头用。哎呀，好可惜哦，我们的手机无法支援这个 A P P。不过，我们可以在 A P P 介绍里面看到正确的测量结果。步骤二，我们可以在资料夹中找到脉波量测的数据，找到这个叫做“布拉布拉”的资料夹，里面就是我们刚刚量测的数据了哦。不过，谷歌小姐，我快不懂啊！哈哈哈。接着我们来介绍第二个原理，也就是利用心脏将血液打上头部时产生的头部震动。不过通常肉眼很难分辨这种微小的震动，所以我们利用 A P P 记录并分析就可以测量到脉搏了哦。Recent work has enabled the extraction of pulse from videos based on color changes in the skin due to blood circulation. If you've seen someone blush, you know that pumping blood to the face can produce a color change. In contrast, our approach leverages a perhaps more surprising effect. The inflow of blood doesn't just change the skin's color, it also causes the head to move. This movement is too small to be visible with the naked eye, but we can use video amplification to reveal it. Believe it or not, we all move like bobbleheads with different motions at our heart rate, but at a much smaller amplitude than this. Now you might wonder what causes the head to move like this. At each cardiac cycle, the heart's left ventricle contracts and ejects blood at high speed to the aorta. During the cycle, roughly 12 grams of blood flow to the head from the aorta by the carotid arteries on either side of the neck. It is this influx of blood that generates a force on the head. Due to Newton's third law, the force of the blood on the head equals the force of the head acting on the blood, causing a reactionary cyclical head movement. An input video of a stationary person and returns a one-dimensional signal corresponding to the head motions. From this signal, we can extract an average pulse rate as well as beat locations for deeper clinical analysis. We tested our method on different people varying in skin tone and gender, and were able to get nearly exact pulse rates compared to an ECG device. 好啦，这次实验就到这里结束了，我们下次见，拜拜了哦。